Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, I am going to explain you how we can set up a development environment for SPFX. SPFX uh, which is known as the SharePoint framework and this is the only development model where you can use uh, or where you can create and deploy client-side web parts for SharePoint online modern sites. You cannot use your server-side code or client-side like add-in models for the modern SharePoint site. So we will follow how we can develop components using SharePoint framework so that we can deploy and use those web parts and components in a modern SharePoint site. I'll show you step by step how we can set up the development environment. Then I and then I'll show you how we can deploy this web part to a site collection app catalog to the channel subscribe to the channel so that you will get notification on the videos that i'll make on this kind of technologies and if you want to learn sharepoint development specially then check out the video description where i'll put the link uh, where you can check out our complete training course on sharepoint development so now let's go to the system and we will go through step by step now we will see how we can do spfx development environment setup so for this there are uh, a couple of commands that we need to run uh, and before that we need to uh, you know install node.js now what i'll do is let me just open a url which is very important like this is the url uh, which is from the microsoft itself and you should follow this uh, for uh, you know setting up your environment now why i'm saying this because this is the page where you will get the uh, information about what are the versions that are supported and we should stick to that version not any other versions because you never know on which stage uh, you know the error will come and in the later stage of developments so for this first thing you will see here uh, now you can see here the node.js version 8 is supported uh, for this uh, you know whatever the will work with the serpent framework so we first thing is we'll install this so i'll just click over here and uh, if you go to download now if you see here now this version is version 20.15.0 so we should not install this we should install uh, which is version 8 within sorry so go to the download and then uh, you can see pre-built installer so, uh, so that we can get the installer here and i'll select uh, version 18 LTS you can see here and this is for Windows and x64 version so and then click on this and once you click on this we'll have this so it will download and then we will install it so if I'll just open it here and then I'll just double click it so you can see here I double click it and then I'll click on next so I'll say accept this next uh, next and then uh, click on next so then click on next and uh, you can install this if you want you can uh, check this one and then click on next and then click on install so just click on yes now you can see here node.js will be installed successfully and uh, you can check that like what is the current version that uh, node.js is once the installation completed so I'll just give a couple of seconds to complete this. So now you can see here the node is installed successfully. Click on finish. And once you click on finish, uh, you know, just you can, uh, you don't need this much, uh, this thing. So you can just go. Now you can just search for node.js command prompt. Now you can see here, this is the node.js command prompt run as administrator and click on yes and you will be able to see the uh, you know version for it so that you can do is node v and you can see here this is version 18 right so we are uh, now sorted with the version so once this is over uh, the next thing is uh, again you should stick to this one because this is the first important thing that you should install the required version then you can install visual studio code i'll not go to this installation because this is just a editor you just uh, you know download it and then install it and the next thing is there are uh, three commands that we need to run uh, one is this gulp one uh, you can see here either you can run this single command which will install everything like install gulp 
and the neoman and uh, the sharepoint generator right so either you can run this command and it will install everything or you can individually install this let let me just copy it and then we'll individually install it so if you can see here first one is this now you can see here it will take some time and then it it will install this one i can see here it has been installed now then uh, this one so we'll install this one so it will take some time and then it will install this and the final one is the uh, you know human sharepoint gem generator so i'll copy this this will help you to create the folder structure for this so it will just take some time let's just wait for some time now you can see here this has been installed so i'll uh, now install the human sharepoint generator so i'll click on this now you can see here now you can see here uh, now it installed successfully now once all these things installed successfully what we have to do is uh, again and just to tell you that you can uh, you know uh, directly can run this one command and install everything next what one thing that we need to do is we need to install this command once rust dev certificate so what this will do is if you can see here sharepoint frameworks local web server used when testing your custom solution from your development environment use https by default so that is possible uh, by using a development uh, you know self signed ssl certificate so that is possible when you will run this command and when you will execute this command this will execute only once in this uh, you know system wherever you are trying to install but that is after you create your first web part that means after you let's say create this before deploying that you can uh, run this this command at it is a one time activity next time if you are developing something you don't need to do it right let's say now what we'll do here is uh, once you install this now we can create a hello world web part on this so to create a hello world web part you can see here there are commands are there now this is the command where you can uh, this will you know create all your folder structure everything so before running to this what we will do is we'll create a folder uh, on on a drive so let's say this one so i'll go to this directory you can see here i'm in this directory now and in this i will create a folder so suppose i will say this one okay and this one so now in this directory i am there in this directory and on this directly we will try to create it so what i'll do here is i'll copy this command and i will run it here so if you can see here now i run it so once you run this it will show you a successful message you can see here welcome to this and now it is asking you what will be the solution name so solution name let's say i will say hello world app so i'll let's say i'll give this and you can see here what are the components that you want to develop i'll say web part here and uh, the web part name hello world and uh, minimal or no framework you can choose no framework here and then you can see here it will now take some time and it will create your entire folder structure on this so we'll just wait a couple of seconds uh, for uh, you know for setting up everything So now you can see here it is saying that uh, this is created and you can run gulp sir to you know work with it now, now what you can do here is if you want to see the solution here then uh, you can uh, type code space dot then it will open the solution using visual studio code so now let me do one thing i'll just show you that code space dot so now you see here the entire solution will come here you can see here now this is the entire thing which is there on this right so what we will do now here is we will uh, run this command which is gulp sharp so if you see here i'll just type gulp sharp and then uh, you can see now it will open it will run in the local browser you can see here so this thing tenant name uh, 
underscore this domain so what we'll do here is i'll just copy this so now you can see here once i provide or uh, now look at this url carefully or the tenant tenant name dot sharepoint dot com slash slides and then slash sharepoint framework you can see here on this and if you we'll click on this and then you'll search for hello world you can see here this is the web part that uh, uh, that created right so your local web server is running so that's the reason it is you know you can see this now uh, to go back you can see control c and then you can come here right now what i'll do here is if i'll just uh, you know refresh it again now you will not be able to see that web part uh, you will not be able to see that web part because locally we have topped this right so now we will see how we can deploy this to the site collection this there are two ways is another way where you can deploy is you can create a app catalog site and then you can deploy it there and that solution will available to your tenant level now suppose in this case i want uh, like this to be uh, on this particular site collection i want to deploy this to this particular site collection so for that what i will do here is now we can uh, have to enable it for uh, of the app catalog we need to enable it the app catalog so that you can upload the package into the site collection app catalog library right so th that you can do so for that uh, we need to run a command here which is the um, you know pnp powershell command will run let me just explain you that now you can see here this is the uh, command that we need to run uh, so what will happen is the in this particular site let's say let me just open this now if you go to the site content you will not be able to see the app catalog here right once you enable it once you run this command here then uh, you know you can see this so for that what i'll do here, here is i'll uh, just open for uh, let me just open uh, powershell iac i'll just Upon it, run as administrator, and on this, we will run this PNP command again. I have a separate video on how we can set up for PNP and stuff. I'll put that link so you can have a look at it. Now, you can see here I once I put this um, you know, command, I'll click on this, and it is asking me about the password. So, I'll just put the password. Uh, this time, it will work okay you can see here it worked now the problem was you can have a look at it the manage path it was not telling because i had a sp uh, slash over here so you can just remove and you can provide the url like this so then only it will work correctly so now if i'll go to the sharepoint site let me just go over here now you should be able to see apps for sharepoint list you can see here from where uh, like you can upload this uh, you know package here so that we can use it so now what i'll do here is i will we need to create the package right so for that you can run these commands gulp bundle and gulp package solution right so i'll just copy this command here so then let me just copy this so you can see here it will take some time to do it and then i'll run this command point now you can see here uh, this is the package file so i'll simply go there and you can see here inside the solution this is your dot sppkg file right so what you can do now is now go to the sharepoint site so now you can see here uh, this is the site and onto this we need to uh, you know upload it so just click over here and we can browse to this file so let me just copy this uh you know location here i'll just copy it now this one so i'll put it i can see here uh, so if you want to make this file available to all the sites in the site organization you can check this checkbox I don't need this i just want for this site only i can see here deployed is yes 
So this has been uh, we have uploaded here. Now what we'll do here is go to the home page and we need to add this over here into this site. So click on the app uh, like from here new and then app and then from here you will should be able to see this solution you can see here and click on add. So what will happen is now the solution will be added to this particular site. Now you can see here it will uh, yeah it has been added now. So once it is added we will go to the SharePoint site now. You can go to any page. Let's I'll go to this page. I'll edit it. Let's I'll click on add. And if I'll search for hello world. You can see here. This is the web part which we have created and deployed on this. Right. So this way you will be able to add this web part. Whatever the client side web part that you have developed into a SharePoint online modern site. Right. So. So I hope now you got an idea about how we can set up the SPFX development environment then how we can deploy this web parts to a SharePoint online site. So you can see here and this command as I said you just need to uh, run it once you don't need to run it multiple times. So if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to the channel uh, so that whenever I'll make videos on this you will get a notification on that. Thank you and have a nice day.